In this video, we will solve a system of linear equations using an augmented matrix by writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form using the TI-84 graphing calculator. But it is important to remember the equations must be in standard form before we form the augmented matrix, where we have the x and y terms on the left side and the constant on the right side. So looking at our system, notice how the second equation is in sloped intercept form, not standard form. To write the equation in standard form, we need to add 5x to both sides and write the equation as 5x plus y equals 4. Using these two equations, we can now write the augmented matrix. Looking at the first equation, because the coefficient of x is 10, the coefficient of y is 2, and the constant is 14, the first row of the augmented matrix is 10, 2, 14. Now looking at the second equation in standard form, the coefficient of x is five, the coefficient of y is one, and the constant term is four, and therefore the second row of the augmented matrix is five, one, four. And now we enter the augmented matrix in the TI-84. We press second, x to the power of negative one for the matrix menu, right arrow twice for edit. Let's enter the matrix in matrix A, so we press enter. Here we enter the dimensions, which is a two by three matrix, which is already entered. So we can just press enter, enter, and now we enter the elements. After every entry, we press enter. So we press 10, enter, two, enter, and so on. Now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. We go back to the matrix menu by pressing second x to the power of negative one, right arrow once to math, press up five times for reduced row echelon form, which is RREF, which is here, press enter, and now we select matrix A by going back to the matrix menu and then selecting matrix A, right parenthesis and enter, and now we have the matrix in reduced row echelon form. Notice in the first row we have 1.20, if we want to convert 0.2 to a fraction, we can simply press math, enter, enter. But because the decimal terminates, we'll go ahead and use the matrix in this form here, where the first row was 1.20 and the second row was 001. Remember the coefficients of x are in column one, the coefficients of y are in column two, and the constants are in column three. But if we take a look at row two, notice how we have zero, zero, one. The corresponding equation for this row would be zero x plus zero y equals one or zero equals one. Notice how there are no variables in the equation and this equation is false or never true. Whenever this occurs, this indicates that we have no solution to the system and the system is inconsistent. So we can stop here and just indicate the system has no solution. This means if we were to graph the two lines, the two lines would be parallel or the two lines would never intersect. I hope you found this helpful.